Today we're talking about how to release your music, whether it be a song or instrumental. Well, the most important thing, and this is just one of the ways, there are many ways in which music is released, but today we're covering just one distribution platform, and at the end of this video, you will know exactly how to release your music and make it available on a number of different platforms. Step number one, write out the words. Someone else may write the words for you, or you may be your own songwriter. Of course, if you are doing an instrumental, you won't have any words, but you will have a sheet of music. Step number two is the music, the beat, or the track. The track is something that can be downloaded online, or you can have someone create a track for you. Either way, it is the beat of the music in which the words are then overlaid in a recording session, which brings us to step number three. You actually will record your words, your voice over the music or the track. You can go to a recording studio to have that done, or you can use some software like Audacity to record the song yourself. You can have a, you may have some resources, you may have some other people who can help you through the project. If you're in a band or if you have connections, like I have really good connections and, and people who I know who are in the music industry, who are professionals and who are willing to help. That helps to move your project along a lot. The producer is the leader of all aspects of the creation of the song or album. These include the choice of the song, the choice of the musicians, how the instruments come in, and who sings background. If you're looking for a recording studio, some libraries have converted to technical libraries and they have a section with the recording booth right there. You can call and find out which time you can go and book a time at that library. Step number four is the reverb or the engineering, the mix and mastering of the song. After you have the words to a song and you have your music and you've gone to record the song either at your home or at a professional studio, the next step is that the song is then engineered and mixed and mastered. Mixing is listening to the individual instruments and mastering the song means bringing it all together. Engineering means that if there's any off pitch sounds, those will be modified and revised and some of the pitches will be taken out in order to get a smooth sounding song. If you have a manager, then they oversee this whole process. If you're working independently, especially at first, then you would go through these steps. In step number five, you can copyright your music by submitting it to copyright.gov. Upload your song, your music, your album up to a platform. This platform will help you with distribution of your music an example of a platform is called CD Baby. CD Baby does collect licensing fees and as people download your music, you do receive some compensation, but it's very important to know what that percentage is. In order to fully claim as your music is played on different platforms, including YouTube and Amazon, you want to also make sure that you have registered with a publishing company such as BMI or ASCAP, those are some examples. Also, CD Baby offers mix and mastering as well for an additional cost for each song. Remember, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So the question is, if you have a song and you've been wanting to release it, what's your reaction? Are you going to move forward and release it and share it with the world and let them hear your voice or your sounds or your music? Now is the time.